This is G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, a uh, Cobra Mantis attack craft with the Aqua Viper officer, together with the City Strike, Conrad Duke Hauser. Now, I decided to put these two together in a review because, uh, albeit this uh, Alpha Class vehicle comes with a, already comes with a figure, I personally think, in my opinion, that the City Strike Duke uh, best fits uh, the pilot, or who the pilot should be for this fig for this vehicle. Uh, now, some of you may argue that uh, the the more movie accurate um, pilot for this figure should be the uh, Target exclusive uh, Rescue Mission Duke, but uh, well, I still don't have that figure and. Uh, I personally think that this figure is more interesting than the Rescue Mission Duke. So anyway, um, let's get on with this review. Uh, let's begin with uh, with Duke. Now, City Strike. Uh, let me move this guy to the side first. Now, City Strike Duke is part of Wave Five of the Rise of Cobra figures. Uh, he he's he's made of parts that have been repainted. Uh, from other figures, and some of his, some of the body parts are from Duke figures. He has, he comes with um, uh, two rifles uh, and some of Snake Eyes' weapons. Uh, he has the knife uh, from Snake Eyes. He's got a pistol, which you can also find from Snake Eyes and a bunch of other figures. I put that there. He even has the Paris Pursuit Snake Eyes uh, sword with scabbard. I'm not exactly sure why they've put why they've given uh, Duke an Arashikage katana, but uh, it's an interesting touch. I'm not going to argue with that. Uh, he has a web. He has a pistol belt with a non-removable pistol and some accessories, and he's got fatigue blue fatigue uh, uh, pants. He even has the, uh, I think this is a suction cup, uh, which he can hold on to. You can cling it onto uh, a smooth surface, uh, which we first saw in the uh, Paris Pursuit uh, Storm Shadow. So all in all, it's a very interesting figure. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, perhaps one of the best Dukes out there, uh, in my opinion. Just just a good detail. I'm, I'm really enjoying the... Uh, I'm really digging this uh, blue camouflage or city camouflage, camouflage together with his uh, uh, a repaint of the reactive armor suit. So very nice, um, very nice indeed. Okay, so let's set him off to the side. Just show off the artwork for you. There you go, fantastic artwork. Okay. okay. Now we go to the uh, Mantis attack craft with the Aqua Viper officer. Now the Aqua Viper officer is not bad. I mean, I like it. It's very interesting. Um, I think he's been repainted. His, his parts also uh, are obtained from other figures that have been repainted uh, uh, to fit to fit his description. He carries with him a, a rifle, a lengthy rifle. Looks like a Tommy gun without the. Uh, the cartridge. Um, he comes with a holster on the side of his leg with no gun. I'm not sure if it's a quality issue. It should have a gun, but it doesn't. Um, my guess is that uh, the legs have been taken from another figure that had a gun. So what we're going to do today is just use uh, the City Strike, the City Strike Duke uh, pistol. I'm going to put it in here. It fits. Fits well. Uh, doesn't really intrude with the holster, so we're gonna keep it that way. Uh, he also comes with a removable helmet and a breathing apparatus. Uh, the wires are removable, like so, and the backpack is removable. You can get rid of the helmet, revealing a uh, a head sculpt that's more, I think, of a Joe than a Cobra figure, than a Viper. But nevertheless, they say he is the um, Aqua Viper. The helmet fits snugly, and uh, 
and um, it looks good. It really complements him. You know, I think he, this guy can survive underwater for a certain period of time. Okay, so but you know, having the Mantis and after seeing the, the the movie, I'd rather have Duke pilot the Mantis. So we're gonna put um, Hydro Viper to the side for now. Aqua Viper for now. Okay, so let's get Duke inside the cockpit and let's talk about the Mantis craft. Uh, let me just get rid of the weapons. Now I was hoping, I was kind of hoping that this vehicle, it's an Alpha class, I was kind of hoping that it would have two seats. Um, just like uh, what we saw in some of the uh, artwork or some shots uh, on the web, on the internet and on some sites. Uh, he can hold the handlebars very well. So I'm going to sit him here. Um, I was hoping for another seat, just like what the box says. box indicates another um, control stick or a control uh, uh, grip, sorry, control handlebars uh, on the back of, of, the, of the of the front handlebars. So there's gray and red, and I was kind of hoping there was another seat so I could put the Baroness in. But I guess due to some budget constraints, they just made it a one-seater. Shame. So we'll have to do with that. Um, okay. So Duke fits in very well. Uh, okay, let me close the hatch. Uh, this vehicle comes with wheels, even though it's a submersible. There are three ro rolling wheels. Very, they roll very smoothly. He comes with four missiles. These two are just extras, which you can mount here or you can remove to make it more movie accurate. Uh, the other two missiles are showing there, um, but you can't fire them without opening the wings or the flip or the fins. Uh, they do have a great strength in spring power, which I'll demonstrate. Uh, very nice. I'm gonna put that back in. Okay. Uh, as like any Jeju vehicle, he comes with decals, stickers as well as inside the cockpit you get some stickers there uh, you get some stickers everywhere uh, the exter the outer fins are movable which you can shape them to make it look like more of a mantis the front claw it, uh, has a feature that shuts when you push this button maybe to grip uh, to grip cobra frogmen or whatever uh, you can cock it back by splitting the prongs open and then uh, splitting the grips open and then pushing this button to activate it. Uh, what else? He's got a, river, um, a rear gun, which the Baroness was piloting uh, towards the end of the movie. Oh, the Baroness was controlling uh, as Duke was piloting the craft and shooting the other Mantis. Uh, the engines are can, can be rotated uh, to a certain degree, perhaps about 90 degrees. That's about it before they snap off. So very interesting. The propellers are movable. If you blow on them, they will rotate. So very nice. Um, one of the one of the few. Uh, th this this particular vehicle is part of Wave Two of the Alpha class uh, vehicles, and one of the, the vehicles that I'm really really happy with. Uh, I didn't get any of the Wave One. Alpha vehicles, and uh, I was more interested in the wave too. And this is one of those vehicles that you want to get for this particular wave. Uh, it's so easy to pass him up because he doesn't look good inside the box. This particular vehicle, but once you open it, it actually is very good. The color of the plastic is a little bit gray, dark metallic gray, almost metallic gray, but not really. Uh, the red paint it does complement the, the vehicle very well. It's very movie accurate, except for the lack of the other seat. Um, but other than that, I'm I'm very pleased with this uh, with this vehicle. Um, highly recommend him. Uh, uh, if you still if you can still find him on shelves, I I highly recommend this purchase. So there you have it. Um, a double review of the uh, Cobra Mantis attack craft with the Aqua Viper, as well as the City Strike. Uh, Conrad Duke Hauser. I hope this video has been helpful for those of you deciding on these on these uh, particular sets of toys. So thanks for watching.